Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Epic Battle Fantasy 4. So, in the last episode, we took on the God Cats, or I guess it's just one being that split into two. And, um, we kicked her ass. <laughs> we did it. We beat the game. But, that's not everything the game has to offer. As I mentioned last time, there will be an episode or two of post-game content, which is what I'm going to be doing now. It's not really post-game content, quote-unquote. There is a bit that could be considered post-game content, but it's just everything that I missed. So we're going to be going down the medalist and getting things. I already have a few achievements I got off-screen, which I will be showing now. Give me just a moment to figure out what they were. The first one, level 40. Reach level 40. Well, if you don't have anything better to do, you might as well go even further. And... Second quest. Beat the game a second time. Continuing from a completed file. Uh, yeah. As you can see, we're not level 40. This is actually back before we beat Godcat. And I did this for a reason. Because I believe that if I check my, if I check my encyclopedia, um, sure enough, we have 58 secrets. Uh, I just need to go around finding two more secrets, which I'll show on screen in just a minute. And then we'll have another achievement, or medal, or whatever it's considered. I'll be right back. Okay, right over here. So, as a heads up, I'm actually using the mouse feature for this. Because it makes it so much easier to find them. I don't have to walk along every square mashing the button. I can just mouse my mouse over everything. Oh, and right here. Done. Eagle Eye. Okay, so there were two quests that I missed uh, while doing the original playthrough. One was this guy. Hey man, I'm a traveling music teacher, but I'm not getting a lot of work around here. Right now I'm willing to work for a pack of beer. Awesome, I should teach you how to play the song of my people. It heals your team and hurts your enemies. Yeah, I just never spoke to this guy. Embarrassing, right? I found a bunch of shiny trinkets in the jungle while hunting. Didn't actually find the animals, though, so I'm hungry again tonight. I never spoke to this woman, apparently. And because of that... It looks like I can survive another day or two. Here's the stuff I found earlier. We got the angel pin. Randomly gives the player auto-revive status, which is, you know, really awesome. We got glass and plastic. I really didn't do those two. Just I just didn't talk to those two NPCs. I don't know. I'm dumb, I guess. Alright, guys. So, we're here. Back at Godcat. As you can see, I have a bit more money, and you might be wondering why that may be. And that's because this is actually the end of the third playthrough. Uh, I just switched over from my first playthrough back over to my third, and things are a bit different now. I've dropped Anna from the team. Um, after looking at what I wanted to do and how I wanted to build people, I decided to make Lance and Natalie both my magic users and have them going around kind of, you know, kicking ass and taking names and all that. But Anna didn't meet up with that. I wanted Matt to be just pure physical, which means that if I didn't want to split the physical boosting item... That means Anna would fall behind. I haven't used Anna since the end of the first playthrough. I decided against it and just started building these people up. And as you can see on the screen, they're kind of awesome. <laughs> Lance has over a thousand evade. Matt has over twenty-two thousand attack. Both uh, Natalie and Lance have been giving the stat boosting item for uh, magic attack. Matt and Natalie are both getting the phys uh, both getting defensive ones and HP ones. So Lance is pretty much the evasion tank. They all have pretty good accuracy. Lance having the best of the three. Overall, this has worked well for me. So we're just here at the end. I just went in on easy. I'm going to just kick the crap out of these enemies. It shouldn't be a problem. I'm not even going to re-equip or anything. What I have on should just be fine. So let's start. Actually, you know what? I want to see how much damage I can do to Godcat. Also, these are my items right now. <laughs> I've not been using a lot of the items I've been getting on these playthroughs, so... Yeah. 
So I'll just be buffing myself up, and you'll get kind of a montage of this battle. At one point, once the second phase of this starts up, I will immediately drop the Cosmic Monolith, because I realized that I never did it, and I need to. I should have done it during the actual final battle. It would have been pretty epic, but uh, I mean, I didn't. So what are you going to do? Invaders from space. I'm glad that things on our side. I wouldn't want to fight it again. Alright, and that's pretty much the end of the battle here. So I'll just heal up and start ending my turn. And we're done. We even got some hot sauce. Final chapter. So we're back at the beginning of the game now, but... Eh... Uh, we're gonna go back. I know that was just like a clip show for you, but I'm not... So, as a fun fact, when you're playing through this game, you have to play through the entire game. You don't keep any of your key items, which means that I have to play through the entire game. And while, yes, it may be pretty easy at this point, it takes a couple hours. I'm not doing that. I'm doing Let's Play. Let's go back. Uh, I think we could be in some trouble. This is the Zombie Hydra, level 50. Uses dark, fire, and insta-death attacks. Summons more Zombie Hydra heads when others are killed. Evade increases if decap decapitated. Okay. Uh, this thing may kick my ass, I'm not sure. It's been a while since I've attempted anything even similar to this. So, I'm gonna hope that this is an easy battle. Let's do this. Sometimes I want to punch myself in the face, yada yada yada. And you know what? I haven't done it yet, so chili sauce. Taste pain. Oh well, this is an easy battle. Oh, like the heads can stay alive when they've been chopped off. Um. That one's dead. How do you guys feel? Okay, fire. Uh, 600 power. I, that would probably kill him, so I'm not going to do that. Actually, I mean, yeah, let's do this. A little bit less power, but better. Yeah, this one's easy. Cool. Done. Is it finally dead? Yay! Wow. And that's the kind of experience and money I get, by the way, guys. 20 mil- wait, is that 20 million? No, that's only two million. Two million gold. Uh, how much experience? A hundred and... Is that 145 million? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Great. Awesome. And that was that battle. So, that's another couple ones out of the way. We got the final chapter. Oh, that's why it was so easy. Wait, was, the, was I not on Epic? Where is... The achievement. Ah, oh, well, crap. Uh, oh, uh, meh. I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay, now we're going into this battle actually on Epic this time. Um. Let's see, 
just to be sure. That's magic. Cool. I'm going to buff you. Plus 70% damage. And use nuke. Over half dead. Genesis, because I may need the res, I'm not sure. I need the res. Life insurance pays off triple if you die on an adventure. Apparently. Um... You get healed. You get buffed. And you use Cleaver. Okay. Uh, light on you. Ah, you're not dead. I was really hoping you'd be dead. You know what? Just kill you. Boom. Glad to regret this could be great for experience farming. No, no. <laughs> No? No. No. Nom, nom, nom. See, this is problematic. Um... Everyone gets the heals. Well, this sucks. I'm on my way back to getting these up, though. Yeah, that's about right. You get in the back row. You get a res. You know what? Let's try it. Nuke them once more. That might be enough, but it might not be. Very close. If another one doesn't regrow, I win. I win. So... Get in the back because I want everyone to get experience for this. Resurrect you. You know what? Since you've worked so hard this past few playthroughs, done. Three shots and one. Yeah, that is a lot of experience. 
but we did it. Dragon Slayer. Uh, yeah, so we have all the boss achievements now. Now that we've worked so hard on this, uh, we have to get the last summon. We have to deal 3 million and then 30 million damage. And then we have to complete the last of the stuff at Battle Mountain.